In this video, I'll show you how to calculate present value using the compound interest formula. This is question two. Starting off with the definition, present value is calculated when you want to find out the principal amount P of a future value A you wish to invest. To do this, you must use the compound interest formula and solve for P. Right here is the compound interest formula and our target is P. The question asks, your friend would like to buy a new boat four years from now. He intends to make a down payment of 14000 Your friend can start investing money in an account offering 7% per year, compounded semi-annually. How much money must your friend invest today to reach his goal of 14000 So your friend doesn't have $14,000 right now, but the boat that he's looking to buy four years from now is $14,000. So he wants to know how much money he needs to put in a bank account right now, which offers 7% interest, to get 14,000 within four years time. To do this, we need to solve for P. But let's assign our values first. We know that A is equal to 14,000. That is the future amount. N is equal to the number of compounding periods. Well, this is gonna happen for four years and it is being compounded semi-annually. So to find out your N, you're going to take four years and multiply it by the amount of times it's compounded every year. And we're told it's semi-annually, so it's by two. So four times two is equal to eight. The interest is 7% per year, and it's also being compounded semi-annually. We take our 7% divided by two, divided by 100. If you're confused about why I multiplied and divide, just follow this chart. Now we need to solve for P. To solve for P, your formula was A is equal to P1 plus I to the power of N. Isolating for P is easy. You divide both sides by 1 plus I to the power of N. And we cancel this out where we have P is equal to A over 1 plus I to the power of N. Now all we have to do is substitute these values into this formula. And if we do that, we end up with... 14,000 divided by 1 plus, and we're going to find that out right now, 7 divided by 2 divided by 100. And the reason why we're dividing by 100 is because we want to go from percentage to decimal. This gives us 0 0.035, and our n value is 8. Now let's plug all of this into our calculator. 14,000 divided by the denominator 1 plus 0 0.035 to the power of 8 and this gives us 10,631 10,631 decimal 76 so what this means is that this person needs to invest this amount today in an account that pays 7% interest to obtain 14,000 within four years time. And so there you have it. That is how to calculate present value using the compound interest formula.